Hey everyone, Argolfump here, playing Hardy Boys, The Hidden Theft. I just started the game. Uh, the first major puzzle of the game is figuring out a way to get our cell phones. We can't just walk outside and get them because Mom gets mad at us if we do. You boys get back to your room this instant. When your father comes home, we can all have a nice long talk about a suitable punishment. Be, but I imagine it will involve manual labor. Yeah. We have to find a way to get those cell phones without Mom finding out. I'm aware of the situation, Frank. Yeah, well, I thought it was worth repeating. <laughs> okay, whatever, Frank. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, after, after we realize we can't just walk downstairs, uh, our heroes decide they're going to climb out the window. I don't think we have a choice, Joe. If we want our phones, we're gonna have to leave the house through the window. And I guess that takes you out of the picture. You still have the scabs on your legs to prove you aren't much of a climber. I can't even count how many times that tree's helped me sneak out. And in. I guess I'm gonna have to trust you to do this on your own. Just don't do anything stupid, okay? Wait, you're trusting Joe not to do anything stupid? Oh, Frank, this is gonna be a disaster! Oh, Okay, well, this is a little tutorial uh, explaining how to switch characters. Basically, we, we, we have three character modes. You can have both hardies at the same time, or you can have a single hardy. Like, right now, I'm controlling Joe, and he's climbing outside. If Aunt Trudy catches us? Sorry. Is anyone there? Run, run, run! Creaky old floors. Ha 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 ha. So that's Aunt Trudy. Uh, she, she's not going to figure much into this game. This is basically the only time we see her. But she's a grumpy old lady. She, she's mean and grumpy. And that's basically it. Mom is a librarian. Don't make me drag you back to your room by your ears. Don't know why she's not at the library right now. Anyway, she she's a librarian and she doesn't know that the Hardys are secret agents. Dad is the only one who knows we're secret agents. So that's why we need to call Dad for help. Okay, so we need to get those motorcycle keys. The way to do that is to have Joe go over here and ding dong ditch Mom. Yeah, no joke, he, he's just going to ding-dong ditch his mother and hope he doesn't get caught. Good plan, Joe. Good plan. His helmet hair will protect him, I'm sure. Okay, so now while Mom's distracted, we switch to Frank. We have Frank go downstairs and steal the keys. I'll just take this. Could come in handy. And go back back upstairs. Uh-oh. Don't make me drag you back to your room by your ears. Uh-oh, I think I was too slow. I think I, I think I was too slow. Yep, I was too slow. Okay, so we have to do that puzzle again. I was not fast enough. So, uh, actually, speaking about Joe's hair, um, Joe is played by Jesse McCartney, I believe. Frank is played by Cody Lindley, so, um, they, you know, they they got some uh, celebrities to play the Hardy Boys, and they tried to make the characters look like those celebrities, I believe. Not that Jesse McCartney is the biggest celebrity ever, but, you know, he, he, was, he, was, pretty, he was pretty popular uh, in 2008 when this game, when this game came out. Okay, this time I'll try I don't to be think fast. Anyone will miss this. Come on, Frank, you can do it. Yeah! Okay, I did it. Great. Great, 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 great. So, uh, now I have part two of the puzzle. Which is actually getting the keys to Joe. Navigation in this game can be kind of hard. It's not always obvious where you need to click in order to get your characters to go somewhere. 
This could be useful. Hey, playback, you're cool. Hey, Joe, you're cool too. And not as cool as playback, though. Playback, playback is much cooler. So we'll give everything to Joe. Yes. Joe, yes. I love the parrot. And we get the keys here. Yes. Brilliant. So now, Al Joe can open up these motorcycles. Just use the keys here. Aha! Cell phone. Yeah. I don't think anyone will miss this. Our bikes. They were a gift from Dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. D Dad gave us... for your brother. Bye, son. So, uh, that's Don't it. Don't ask me how you got out of this one. Your father just called. He needs your help at the garden center, but don't think for a minute that we aren't going to have a long talk when you all get home. <sighs> your keys are on the table downstairs. Where's Joe? He's in the bathroom. The keys to your bikes are in the dish on top of the credenza. Be careful, and don't you boys dare speed! Yeah, we're still in major trouble. Oh well. So, uh, that is the end of chapter Hello. number one. <laughs> and Joe still has no idea what's happening. Poor Joe. Remember that girl from the bookstore? The one you had the crush on? When I got back from camp, she wasn't working there anymore. I never saw her again. How'd you do at camp? MVP? What are you talking about? I broke my arm the first day, you know that. So you never got to first? <laughs> I see where this is going, and let me warn you, Joe. A broken arm hurts. It'd be a shame if you got one. Just joking. Hey, Joe, what do you think of Lily? Lily? Lily Spencer? That's the one. To be fair, I don't know her that well. And anyway, I think she has eyes for you. Really? Well, what makes you say that? Because all pretty girls have eyes for you, Frank. It's your curse. Very funny. Look, don't pull anything when we see her again. I hate it when you embarrass me in front of girls. Moi? I'm always the picture of civility. Just keep a lid on it. 